At the beginning of this academic year, I wanted to use my professional experience to discover more about the logistics behind exhibitions and curation. Before, I only had analysed working galleries as a viewer with little knowledge about how much work goes into showcasing art. My first placement was working as a venue liaison officer for Project Frame with Ellie Clark, a former photography lecturer at Coventry University. The project's aim was to increase the awareness of local art by having single white framed pieces across Birmingham city centre over a period of three months. My main roles were to act as a part of the liaison team in getting work hung. I learnt important masonry techniques from this and had to think quite quickly to solve problems when it came to hanging work. After the install, on a weekly basis I attended the needs of three of the venues, Birmingham Cathedral, 6-8 Cafe and the Old Joint Stock. I had to make sure that work was clean, the right information was visible and presentable, that the venue staff were all informed about the project and the work, and I also had to perform questionnaires with them. I felt that although the week-by-week -week task of revisiting the venues was a little monotonous, with hindsight this was a great experience to lift my confidence before being able to take on more laborious responsibilities. In October and November, I worked with Fresh at CU as part of the management team organising the graduation photography for the Media and Communications Department. As project manager, my role was to communicate between the team and George Rippon to identify and solve issues we faced. I learned that a lot of planning goes into one short event, predetermining any issues and having a plan to overcome them. I gained experience in holding meetings, planning what should be discussed so that there is a clear structure as well as leadership skills. I increased my teamwork skills in a photographic setting, working alongside my peers in the studios. Furthermore, my people skills were challenged. Regardless, I felt that this was a suitable stepping stone in building my confidence and knowledge into planning. I was honoured with the opportunity to work as an intern for Simon Taylor and Emma Bowen at the Icon Gallery in Birmingham. This is exactly the degree of professionalism I wanted to witness to really understand how much goes into running a successful gallery. I learnt important lessons in curation, making print and working with different teams from facilities to press. With the Norfield Showcase, I gained experience of working with projectors and screens, wanted to echo how the Beard Stroyley work was being exhibited in the main galleries. I think my observation skills for this showcase were paramount for when the Postmarks exhibition came. With the Postmarks exhibition, I had a more influential role in how work was to be selected and hung in the gallery. I had a keen eye for colour, as the collage effect of different art presented needed to have a clear direction for the eye to follow. Furthermore, with this exhibition I worked with Emma to produce a piece of print to accompany the exhibition. I helped to make decisions in the selection and design of the drawing booklet, as well as learning about how we could most economically print this piece. On the more creative front, I was asked to document an evening event, a conversation with Beard Stroyley. With this I asked Simon what my brief was and what he was looking for. He was pleased with the results. I think this highlighted my degree of professionalism and planning, making sure I knew exactly what my client wanted. This experience extended to videography. Lee and I worked collaboratively to document and edit the 15 years at Brindley Place talk. This meant that we planned for any issues with flat batteries or full memory cards. We took in turns to video from each viewpoint. This meant we could keep track of battery memory use. This degree of professionalism was welcomed highly by Simon and since we have been called on paid commission to document Rosanna Raymond, a live performance artist at the gallery. I felt that I gained a wide range of skills and experience from the Icon Gallery, especially in curation and print design. After gaining valuable experience with Frame, Fresh at CU and Icon Gallery, when we decided to organise a group exhibition for the Pickbard module, I felt that I had a lot of credentials to offer. I was on the secretary team, which meant that my role was to organise and inform the whole group so that deadlines were met and problems were solved. This re role required a high level of organisation and communication skills. Our main hub for sharing information was on a Facebook group, so I would have to keep all my information neatly logged onto there with important posts pinned so that everyone was being updated. Minutes after meetings were made into documents shared online and I would help organise meetings for sub-teams. I felt that in this role I was on top of getting important information to the group. Needless to say that this, there were flaws. I learnt that Facebook is not the most ideal platform for sharing information in this way, as information can be lost and missed. 
However, communicating with 31 people was never going to be an easy task, so I felt that I did well. I also took on responsibilities in the marketing team, offering my experience gained from ICON to reduce expenditure and to increase awareness. I used my writing skills to create a press release and a special invitation email. This was a good experience and was met with praise as we successfully got a column in the art section of the Co Coventry Telegraph. I also used my technical skills creating a teaser video of Alex Mason and I preparing our work for the exhibition. I was also keen on being part of the logistics behind curating the work after the knowledge I had gained from ICON. I helped devise the system so that we could get information about the work such as theme, colour palette, size and quantity so that we could determine where work would be ideally hung. To reduce stress on the installation days, I went to the venue to mark out everyone's space with tape and I helped up clean up Fargo for the opening night. I spent five days at the exhibition space, often up to 11 hours at a time, and many more hours of communicating, meetings and curation. I felt as though I put all of my energy into the exhibition, and it meant that the space went from an empty warehouse to a full photographic gallery. I've learnt listening skills. Speaking to many different groups and communicating between them is difficult, but I feel that I worked hard towards improving this. I also thought it would not be easy to liaise with 32 people, and it wasn't. I felt that I work as well as part of a team, not only taking on the secretary role but also helping at the groundwork as far as cleaning up the venue. I felt that I was a strong leader, making sensible executive decisions which supported the whole group. I wish to continue with organising and curating artistic events in the future with more of my own creative practice to increase people's awareness of my work. <laughs>